see you do everything you've done. You have a career that spans over 30 years, the marriage. Uh, you work for the president of the United States. <laughs> um, you seem to have a golden touch. Not sure. <laughs> okay, so my question is, what's left for you? What do you dream about now? Sleep. <laughs>
not afraid to try things in and on the, of the moment. God knows there's no hiding behind tape recorders and rappers in the background of dancers and you know, lip syncing. And we, were, we ran into the cast of that TV show, Glee. We were doing two shows <laughs> all night. And it's like, you know, this is a moment. They play for an hour and 20 minutes, it's all on tape. It's like, oh my Christ, this is bands on tape, bands on tape, singing on tape, singing on tape. Now I'm 20 minutes a night, I'm going to start doing matinees. <laughs> you know? So, it, it's, it, and it's, it's also good for us to, to shake it up and do a cover song, you know, that kind of thing. Sometimes you do things selfish. They are all for you. And you do some stuff. Hello, Joan. My name is Marcel. I'm from Argentina. Uh, well, first of all, before to make the question, what well, I have to give to be to say to give you okay. She has something she did on her own and it's something I bought for you. It's something traditional from Argentina for people that sit down. Well, the question is now, if you were down the stage, if you were not a leader of a walking combat, if you were on the audience, uh, would you follow a, a fun life, a fanatic life? Would you travel a long way just to see someone? Uh, perhaps a baseball team, a singer, an actor, anyone? And if so, who? That's a good question. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to think if I've ever gone somewhere to see someone. As opposed to them either being in my hometown or being in that town where they were. Um, I don't think I ever have. I, I can't think of anybody I, I have. No. Um, again, you know, it's, it makes me humble. <laughs> also, you guys call my bullshit on me. <laughs> I can't tell a lot of the same jokes twice because I know they're going to get called out for it. <laughs> I got to have a conversation, and I won't mention these artists' names, but the three of them were huge, huge, big. And they were at this hotel, and a mutual friend called me up and he said, Oh, come on over. These three are having some drinks in the back, and we're coming hang out at the hotel. So that'd be great. We went over to the hotel, sat with them, and they said, How'd it go tonight? You know, you're playing 12 nights over there, the other two are so awesome. great. So what you're with this? Uh, 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 whatever it was, I didn't call the song. And the guy looked at me and said, you don't know what you're with? I said, no, no, I, I try to change it up every night. You know, I said, I change eight, nine, ten songs every night. Like, These are big guys. Like, what? You do that? Now, some of you, they became like those three monkeys, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> The three of them, they looked like, you're kidding. They, I, I said, I can't tell the same jokes twice. And the guy says, I do. <laughs> and I thought to myself, you know, that's that's just not the mentality that I grew up being in around. The guys in uh, those bars in, in the East Street Band and, and the Jukes, everything was just spontaneity, audience reaction, interaction. You know, they, they found we found our own niche because of it. Yeah, just get into that, sure. Thank you. Thank you.